This is the familiar sound of an electric guitar. Before people played the electric guitar, they played, and still do, the acoustic guitar. Before people played the acoustic guitar, they played, and still do, the lute. The lute is the ancestor of hundreds of instruments that are held and played in the same way. Hi, I'm Cliff Lenz, and our subject is instruments that produce a sound when strings are plucked. Now, some players pluck the strings with their fingers. Some use a flat pick that looks like this. And some players put picks on their fingers. In this case, I've got one for my thumb, which is plastic, and one for my first and second finger, which are metal. And uh, they produce a brighter sound. Actually, all string instruments belong to the same family. They come in an incredible range of sizes and shapes. And there are many different ways of setting strings in motion so that they make a sound. Now, there are hundreds of instruments played all over the world that are held the way I'm holding my guitar. In China, they play a lute that dates back to the second century. It's called a pipa. The player holds the pipa in an upright position and wears picks on each finger. In Russia, they play a triangular-shaped instrument, a balalaika. This instrument has only three strings, and although the player is using his bare fingers to strum, some players use a pick. There are hundreds of instruments in the lute family. People discovered that there were many different ways of making an instrument with a sound chamber and tunable strings. And the same kind of instrument can be made in many different sizes. Nature plays a big part in the creation of instruments. If people don't have big trees, they can't make large wooden instruments. In China, where there is a big silk industry, instrument strings are made out of silk. In a country with a lot of livestock, strings are made out of animal gut. In certain South American countries, they actually play a small guitar whose sound box was originally made from the shell of an animal called an armadillo. The instrument is called a chirongo. You hear it now, along with other traditional instruments that are played in the Andes. In Hawaii, they play an instrument many of us call a ukulele. They call it an ukulele. It means jumping flea. Listen to these Hawaiian children play their ukuleles.
Next, we're going to see a clip from my weekly TV show, where we take a look at an instrument that you've probably heard before, a banjo. Watch this. Wow. What style of banjo is that? It's called Scrugg style, Cliff. Mm -hmm. And it's a three-fingered banjo style. But before the three-fingered picking style, there was a two-fingered style. And the two-fingered style probably was most best represented by a thing called Freyland. And you could sing with this style. We'll circle the unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by. There's a bed home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. You also travel fast. Fasten your safety belts, please. That's it. All right. That's called frailing. That's called frailing. Mm -hmm. and, if you, and if you make a mistake, it's called failing. It's failing. Called, <laughs> all works out. <laughs> but at one time, they took the fifth string off the banjo, and what they wanted was a, string, a stringed instrument that would be loud enough to be heard through the horn section of an orchestra without amplification. They retuned it slightly. And it sounded like this. Okay, who's got a question? I do. I was wondering um, <clears throat> if you, I always thought that the banjo was something similar to the guitar in some ways. <clears throat> and when you look at it, uh, at a guitar, it has a, a, a hole in the, in the middle where the sun comes out. I was wondering if these little holes on the side are taking the place of the one that's in the middle on the guitar. Eddie, that's a good question. And in a way, they are. The differences between a banjo and a guitar are also found in that there's a, inside the resonator, which is this. There's a tube or a wooden stake, which brings the, makes the sound also go around before it comes out here. The top of the banjo looks kind of like a tambourine. It sure does. And I was wondering if, if, the, if this is made out of the same material. And the answer is yes. What the tambourine was used for was to, was to sort of uh, use it to make percussive sounds. And this was, at one time, what used to be animal skin and now is plastic, was stretched across a gourd. Strings were added to a, what they call the neck, and they played it this way. So the answer is yes, it's the same. Let's uh, have our, our new banjo player take your uh, instrument. All right. There. Give that to Stephanie. Okay, now what we're going to do is... Now, how can she play that? Well, she could play with her right hand and just... <laughs> We need a chord player. How we about do need a chord let's player? Get a, how, let's how about get Eric, Eric over here? We need to go to the fifth string, press down hard, up to the seventh string, up two. Real hard. Down, there you go. Whoops. What you're doing is getting the chord player. Seven, five, open. There. Okay. That's Pretty great. Good. Well, let's do one more tune together, and this time you're going to. Go back to your finger picks, right? Back to the finger picks. Okay, those are, uh, let's see, you got one for the thumb. One for the thumb. And one for each finger, each of the first two fingers. Okay, and back to an Earl Scrugg style again. This is one of the most famous banjo pieces around. This is called... Foggy Mountain Breaker. All right, let's give it a whirl.
right. You can see that these instruments are popular for many reasons. Besides making beautiful sounds, they're portable and, well, kind of personal, since you hold them close as you play. Some people play amazingly difficult music on the acoustic guitar. It may surprise you to know that many rock guitarists learn to play classical guitar first. Composers today have created some interesting and unusual music for guitar. In this case, the piano becomes another plucked instrument. One composer thought of an unusual way to use a lot of guitars in his piece of music. The glass tubes that the players are using are called slides. There are other types of string instruments besides those in the lute family. This is a zither from China, called a chung. This zither from Japan is called a kodo. The white bridges holding up the strings are movable, making it possible to change tunings for each piece of music. The player uses picks to pluck the strings with her right hand while pressing the strings down with her left hand. If you stand a string instrument up and play it, you have a harp. This is a modern harp, but harps have been around for thousands of years. The strings are different colors in order to help the player find the different notes. For example, all the C strings are red, all the F strings are black.
When you see and hear all these instruments from so many different places, you might think about how inventive people are and how they've always felt the need to create instruments to make music for themselves and for others.